Now, undeniably, the Nike Dunk has held the crown as the most hype sneaker for the last few years. However, have the tides turned and is the Nike Air Force One a possible contender? Hello, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel, Kings Down Roots. My name is Matt Rideout, R-I-D-O-U-T. And today, we're gonna be unboxing and reviewing the brand new Nike Air Force One Pony. Okay then, let's not waste any time. Let's just get straight on with the unboxing of the Air Force Ones, which are in this box right here. Okay, wow. These look interesting to say the least. These are the Nike Air Force One ponies. I actually picked these shoes up on the sneakers and stuff app. I won a raffle, I caught them at retail. Uh, these cost £124.95. I believe that they're due to release on the sneakers or Nike sneakers website and app this week on the 16th of July, and they do have the same recommended retail price as that. The current resale for these at the moment on the pre-release market is pretty non-existent. I don't think there's a lot of demand for these shoes, but the current bids are averaging around £130. So there's a little bit of demand for these shoes overall. So first impressions of this shoe then. I mean, obviously this is called the Pony or the Pony Hair edition of the Air Force One for obvious reasons. There's fake pony hair all over the Nike swoosh and back of the shoe. It's just absolutely covered in it, which is um, interesting and different. I've not seen that on an Air Force One before, so that's pretty cool. Now, I'm pretty sure when I saw this advertised, this was meant to be a white sneaker. And in certain lights, I guess you could call it white, but it kind of looks a bit light gray or even a dark white if that makes sense so i do have uh, another pair of sneakers right here i've got a pair of the adidas ultra boosts which are obviously in the triple whites and you can see the comparison of colors um, i'm not sure if this camera is going to pick that up very well but the adidas ultra boost is a much purer white or a creamier white i guess you could say than the air force one so that's interesting that's definitely a takeaway that the color isn't necessarily what you expect it to be uh, on the product images the second thing to talk about is the color of the pony hair around the back of the shoe because on the product images it did look a little bit green it has to be said and i was a bit kind of concerned about what that color looked like however in a description of these shoes it did describe the color of the pony hair as being an off-white which actually that a better description of what it really is. This is definitely more white than green, so don't be concerned or alarmed if your color doesn't look quite right. Now, at the beginning of this video, I did talk about how I thought the Nike Air Force One could actually become a contender for the most hyped sneaker. The reason being is that Virgil, LV, and Nike are doing a collaboration together at the end of 2021 and beginning of 2022, and that collaboration is only going to increase the popularity of the Air Force One silhouette. So I do think that they there's a real possibility that these shoes, these sneakers, will become more popular and possibly as popular as a Dunk. So let's start talking about the shoe then. And we don't have to talk about much because this is a very basic Air Force One with the exception of the pony hair on the Nike swoosh and the back of the shoe. Now the pony hair is fake pony hair and it does feel very soft and uh, it does add another level of texture to the design, which I really like. Besides that, it is a pebbled white leather on the upper. It is a little bit more high quality and premium than you usually get with an Air Force One, uh, but it looks very, very similar at a distance. And yeah, I guess that's all we need to talk about with the design of the shoe. So let's start putting this on my feet and giving you guys a couple of different looks and styles. I would love to hear what you think, so please drop me a comment down below. Okay then, having just put these shoes on feet, 
has to be said, I'm a little bit impressed with this design. I wasn't really expecting much more than a normal Air Force One, to be honest, which is great, it's fine. However, this texture and the pony hair really does offer something different when it comes to a look. And I was really impressed with that. So um, yeah, well done, Nike. Now, when it comes to sizing for the Air Force One, for a long time, I always went true to size. However, I have changed that and I now go half a size down. I find that the half a size down does actually work a little bit better when it comes to Air Force One. It's more snug, there's less room on the front of the shoe, and that's what I'd recommend going with any Air Force One in the future. So overall then, this is a good all-round Air Force One. It's a decent effort from Nike. I do like the pony hair on the back of the shoe for sure. However, it's nothing spectacular. It's not moving mountains by any stretch, and I don't think it was really intended to do that, but it is what it is, and it's a decent shoe. So yeah, on that note, that's it from me today. I've been Matt Rideout. This has been Kings Down Roots. If you've enjoyed my video, please drop me a comment and a like down below it really does mean the world to me you can also follow me up here on instagram i post a lot of content on there too thanks very much for watching take care Bye.